basketball was just everything for me. I might have been having a bad week. Come here Sunday, everything stops. For me, it's therapeutic. Basketball was my kind of same, my nirvana. It's what I look forward to every week. It's the only time my mind goes blank. To me, it's, it's peace. It just helps me release all this negative energy that I have inside of me. There's still always this sense of like, oh my god, it's a woman on the basketball court. They go into shock when they find out that our age was still playing basketball. When you see women go up to the court to play ball, no, they're not there to look cute. We're out there to play, just like you guys. You know, we may argue a little bit, but that brings the best out of all of us. If somebody's not yelling or screaming, it's not New York basketball. I feel like I would never be able to do this anywhere else besides New York City. There's lots of hoop games throughout the city. When do they stop? That's the question. When I was a kid, I used to love watching movies that were like based in New York because I thought New York was so cool. I was like, man, this feels like a whole new world. Yes! I used to play this video game with my sister called NBA Hoops. You get to play in like the cage at West Forth. And I remember like, yo, that's so cool. And we'd be playing all day. And then when I was like, whoa, I could end up living out here. It was just like unbelievable for me. Okay, stop! At West Fork, everything's happening so fast. Everything's moving so fast. I just love it. There we go, there we go, there we go. This is New York City. This is where it's really at. All, all the hype about it is real. Go ahead, go ahead. Yep. Let's get a stop. Let's get a stop. If you love basketball and if you love good basketball, you're in the right place. Um, field trip, field day. All right. Um. 12, 14, 16, 18. Cool. How many of us, uh, raise a silent hand if you brought a lunch today? You brought a lunch? All right, excellent, hands down. Raise a silent hand if you brought a water bottle that we can refill throughout the day. Okay, hands down. Who can tell me what the temperature is gonna be today? Yes, it's gonna be in the 90s. I told you guys yesterday, bring water bottles. It's going to be hot, we have to stay hydrated. Yes, morning. Yeah, we're going to the park, Brooklyn Bridge. Even before I taught, one of my first odd jobs was a after-school basketball coach. So I'm like, sure, and I walk into the gym, and there's like 26 7th and 8th grade boys and me. And they're shooting around everything, and I'm like, all right, guys, come on, we're about to do this. And they're looking at me, and they start laughing. They're like, you're a girl. Relax, relax. Basically, like, we're not listening to you because you're a girl. All right, 6th grade, one more picture. One more, one more. Everybody, everybody. And I remember going home so upset. I was like, no, that's that's not okay. So the next day, I was like, everybody get on the baseline. And I was like, all y'all line up. Each one of y'all play me one-on-one. -on -one. Anybody beat me, I'll leave. And if none of y'all beat me, y'all listen to me. So I played all these little boys. They're going hard. They're cheering each other. Man, get her, get her. Don't let her score. Man, I beat every single one of those kids. <laughs> and you know, I was fresh out of college too, so no mercy. All right, let's shoot it up. So the first five who make it are on the team, that's it. Free throw, so the first five to make a free throw on the team. Get, get in line, get in line, get in. So then after that, it was miss this, miss that. Coach, how my shot look? What can I do to improve that? And then um, from there, smooth sailing. Game is straight ones. Y'all wanna do ones? No, ones and twos to 11. You know, just really being able to use my story to connect with the kids, and they really appreciate that. Everything goes back. Ball in. I'm calling double dribble, so don't, don't do it. Yeah, good D, good job. That's how you play defense. No matter what this kid or this person has going on in their life, if they're playing ball, get him, get him. you can tell they're in it, nothing else matters. Oh, good shot. Timothy. Basketball just makes everything all right, even if it's for 10 minutes. Oh, that's a two. I was behind the line. Good rebound. Yeah, Tim. Yeah, Tim. Four, two. During this year, like a lot of my students were going through crazy things like that I had no idea. Like at right. home, like a few of my kids got, got taken from their homes. Right. They got separated from their families. I have really high expectations, but then again, I also didn't know what was going on. Teaching is, you know, really hard. And I remember like my first year that I started teaching, not being able to play because I'm trying to make sure these lessons are straight or not being able to play because I need to reteach myself this material. So for a while, I didn't play ball for about two, three months. It was bad. I was gaining a little weight. I was super sad, depressed. 
butt. Once I got a good strong handle on it, and I started to give myself a little bit more room to play ball because I felt more confident in my abilities in the classroom. Um, I'm gonna show you the rest later because I gotta. We gotta go. We definitely gotta go. I stretch myself very thin because there are so many different things that I want to be a part of. It kind of used basketball as a reason for me to be a tomboy. I didn't like wearing dresses. I didn't want to have to be extra girly. And I was like, man, this is fun, and I'm kind of good at it. And this stops people from questioning me why I always want to wear shorts or why I always want to wear t-shirts. So I was like, man, this is something that I can see myself doing for a while. And basketball can be a way of life. It can get you out of here. It can show you the world. You need to get serious about this. Hello? Hey, Ma, I'm good. What's going on? No, I'm headed out to play ball. I'm about to go play pickup. Yeah. <laughs> all right, I will. All right, all right, love you. Bye. You know, my mom asked me, she's like, when are you going to grow out of this? It's a game. And I'm like, Mom, you don't get it. You don't get it. My mom did not want me to play basketball because she thought it was too boyish. She kept saying, that's a boy sport. Go play jump rope. Come inside, come in here and bake. I didn't want to. And my dad said, you can do what you want to do. If you want to go in and bake, that's fine. But if you want to play ball, that's fine as well. You know, as I'm older, my mom and I have more conversations about this. And she said, Nay, before you and your sister, I didn't even think girls did things like that, like play sports. And we're also good at it. It's always different when it's somebody who's in your life. That forces people to see it in a different light. The old ways and the old times, they're dead now. They are, and people are living how they want to live. They're living their best lives. They're living it unapologetically. And you just have to either get with it or get lost. When did you guys get married? We got married like uh, a month ago. Maybe. A month ago? Nice. Yeah, so we nice. were on Brooklyn Bridge, and we did a, oh. some basketball picks. Oh, that's awesome. That's cool. Yeah, I want to see these. Here they are. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Yeah, these are so swipe. cute. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah. Oh man, that's yeah. dope. That's yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> like that morning? So I play ball all over New York City. I play from West Forth to Harlem to the Bronx. But when I play those Saturday runs, the Saturday runs are really my serenity, really my peace. Oh, should we move over to that court? Let me go grab this court real fast. Hey, excuse me. How many more? Are you guys getting any more runs? Yeah, we're gonna have a couple more games tomorrow. What time do you think? We're just gonna run a couple more. A couple. 30? Got you. I didn't ask all that. I know, like, it was not that deep. How long are y'all playing for? That's it. Y'all been out here all morning. We should play them for the court, because you know we take them. I have played many pickup games all around the country where I went to college, where I grew up, and I've never stumbled upon an all-women's pickup game. If I ever go to a park, it's never only women. And if it is, it's not like this. Hey! Organized leagues, yes, but like pickup, no. Some of these women have played overseas, have played in college, so it's a really special community because we're playing competitive basketball, but we're also playing for fun. Oh. Hey. The shot, the shot. Today I was saying, I didn't come here to have fun, I came here to win. I mean, I'm joking, but like when I'm on the court, I'm, I'm playing to, to win. Okay, Becky. There's still always this sense of like, oh my God, like it's a woman on the basketball court. We all feel safe and comfortable playing as women because we don't have any of that gender boundary for men thinking, oh, women can't play basketball. Ooh. Nine, seven. When you see women go up to the court to play ball, no, they're not there to look cute or to watch or to clap. We're out there to play. It is really cool to see girls, like little families on the side, just like watching girls playing like good basketball. Hey. I don't want it to have to be like a, oh, you guys are out here trying to make a difference and be different. Oh. No, we're out here just playing basketball, just like you guys. Right. Basketball makes you feel good. It makes me feel good too.
New York can definitely be a lonely place, but you just gotta make sure that you invest yourself in the spaces and with the time that you feel like are most important and especially with the people who deserve your time. One oh. One oh, good job, good job. I love the women that I play with. I love the Saturday Room Woman. They come from all over because they love it. I mean, it's girls from every background. A lot of the times somebody like is looking for a job, like, you know, you just put the word out. It's a community, like we're a legit community. It's really unique also in the sense that for the majority, the women that play with us are all gay. So, you know, that adds another level of uniqueness to our group. We're not just all women, but we all also fall into this other category that, you know, has been traditionally marginalized. And so it kind of creates this safe space, but everyone's welcome. No men. <laughs> no men here. <laughs> When I play Saturday ball, if my team loses, I'm not sad waiting for the next run. I'm sitting on the sideline catching up with somebody. I was gonna ask how you've been doing, like adjusting with the New York. I really liked how the girls would, you know, just really get involved in each other's lives, like graduations, like childbirths, marriages. And I'm like, wow, this is like a really cool community that I wouldn't mind being a part of. Uh, <laughs> Finally. Good game, y'all. It's tough being black in America. It's tough being a woman in America. And three strikes, queer. I've never been able to live my life and not feel those things. But if I could get through that and be good with it, then you know, like, then I can truly live my life how I want to live it, with no regrets, no apologies. I feel like it's been a long time coming because I've never been this comfortable with looking in the mirror and feeling all right about who I am and who I feel I represent. I just know that the life that I'm living is a life that I've probably, if I could have dreamed of living as a kid, I'm playing ball, I'm doing what I like, passionate about it. I'm just really grateful for the time and the place that I am at this point in my life. I wouldn't ask for anything else. retire is different ways. For me, it's tricky because my retirement started with getting laid off from a job. But unemployed at 55, you find out is tricky. I just kept busy with my activities. If you have nothing, the real bad part is it can lead to death. It's not scientifically proven, but everybody knows people that their lives got real dull and boring. Not good. Keep busy. There it comes. I was born and raised, and I've been in the neighborhood basically my whole life. Bay Ridge really, to me, is still a small community in the middle of a big city. And it's just peaceful, it's quiet. My uh, first basketball memory, maybe back to about fourth grade, and at least started learning how to play properly. Once you learn how to move your feet right and box out, pass, you never lose it. And now, I'm 65, I'm still playing. And the guys I play with are all in the same boat, too. A lot of people ask me to go home and, you know, evil, you know, but no, it's not that. I played in Little League, and guys said that I was a good omen. I was always on the winning team. X or X-Man or X-Factor or Mr. X. But every once in a while, I might be able to hit a shot or a rebound, and that might change the game a little bit. We have a Christmas dinner. We exchange gifts. We pull numbers out of a hat. I forgot the number, so that was it. My nickname is Richie the Hook because both right, both left. They call me Manly Jack. 
because there was another jack and they wanted to differentiate me from the other guy. In the old days, guys would probably be home watching, uh, you know, The Wheel of Fortune. 62, 63, some guy's 65. Like, I'm, I'm 61 already. Uh, I don't know. I'm surprised I'm playing this long, to tell you the truth. It's friendship. It's a two hours that is just us. That's the, uh, the whole part of this, uh, this family. It's a, it's a family. It is the same night, the same time, and the same gym for 38 years. It's Tuesday night hoop, period. So that's what's on the jerseys. It's only that one person in that circle, you know, that keeps everybody together. So, we, you know, it's, it's special, and I think Joe is special too. He gets a kick out of being the commissioner. How you doing? And, you know, we all get a kick out of him being the commissioner, too. <laughs> what happens if you airball a, a foul shot? Case of beer. I know, I heard. Yeah. I'm thinking about instituting that on Tuesday night. What do you think? He's, uh, he's crazy. <laughs> he's Joe's, Joe's one of those, he, he keeps records on everything. I keep track of these things. If you come every week, I keep you. If you don't come every week, you're out. It is difficult to make 100% uh, because things come up. You know, life, we have excuses, and some of them are normal, but we got other excuses. F-I-P-M fell into parking meter. It's only been done once. I walk in pneumonia with a limp. Who the hell says that? Well, you said it, I'm putting it down. The top excuse of all time comes from Rick, and he just gave me on an email the code TCW. And I will tell you, I had no clue. I don't have a guess. My wife was all upset. My, the two girls were too upset, my daughters, and, uh, and I was like, I, I just couldn't leave. Three crying women. People go into shock when they find out that our age was still playing basketball. X in the house. Your lives have all revolved around a lot of different things, but Tuesday night's pretty much been, you know, a constant. So we've all aged together. And... We have all the injuries. Bad back, Achilles, plantar fasciitis, gout, hamstrings. I have one surgically repaired knee and one knee that I didn't bother to surgically repair. Hook tore his rotator cuff, came back two weeks later, tore his other rotator cuff. Which is oh, the, God. isn't it the right arm? It's the left. Oh, the left. The left. Well, right now you're our 10th man, we need you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh no, my bad, my bad. <laughs> oh, we really need you. But <laughs> yeah. oh, what did the, what the doctor I'll say? never stop playing. Basketball is two hours. I can get away from all the troubles. I find it just as my panacea. That's why the rotator cuffs has been kind of tough on me lately. They don't miss our game unless something very serious happens. We had Hurricane Sandy hit. A handful of our guys had to move out of their houses. These fellows, their lives were turned upside down. Point six, seven. They couldn't wait to get back to basketball. Billy, you're black? Yeah, I'd say about three and a half years ago, I found out I had lymphoma. So um, I was in quarantine for 30 days. I couldn't leave the room. You learned a lot about yourself in those 30 days. You know, wondering if you ever get out of that room. So that's, uh, that's why I'm back on this court, too. That's a major reason why I never want to quit. So I'm working my way back. I still run faster than these guys. <laughs> when I don't play, I miss it. And my wife misses it, too. There was a point last year where she said to me, you know I love you, right? But you got to get the f out of the house. <laughs> All right, let's go now. <laughs> Our game is a lot different than pickup games around the city. It's old school. Nobody grabs the rebound and goes coast to coast. Somebody's going to score a basket soon, right? can't really touch the rooms anymore, but I think that team concept is still there, you know? That's what's important. It's back picks, set picks, moving around, moving the ball around. Here's the rules. Don't shoot too much, play a little defense, 
Pass a little bit. Air ball. Nice pass. You don't have to call a foul because the guy defending you is going to call the foul. Your ball. Oh -ho! They just want to play ball the right way. And if you end up scoring all the baskets, but the ball is whipped around five times, shot, Jack. Well, they're real happy with that. Boy, shot. Jack, you're putting on a show. Occasionally, my wife will say, did you win? I really don't know. I really don't care. I just know the games were close, and everybody sweat. You cannot tell who's having a good day at work or a bad day at work. You can't tell who's having trouble at home. You can't tell who's having some financial woes. I think they consider it a special place. It is almost sacred. This silly old basement gym is a sacred place. So now they're basically saying, wow, we are gonna keep going till we're 70. I never see an end to it. As long as I can still play, I'm in. No one put a time limit on it, right? You know, we opened up the door, walked down the steps, like we're like 25 again. There's something about it. So the boys, we made it to another season. I'd love to play forever, but yeah, you know, yeah. one day it will end. You know, and that would be, be tough. It would, it would be tough. <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> Just keep moving on, keep playing, show up on Tuesday night, and that's it. <laughs> Even in this weird little world of ours, every single guy on the Tuesday night hoop knows what a great thing it is. In our game, there's a wide range of abilities. They all fit together well, and that's what we're exclusive about. You could be LeBron James. LeBron, you're too good for us. You would ruin our game. He might be welcome to sit in one week, because that's a story. But if he said, should I come back next week, the commissioner would have to go, LeBron, my man, you're fantastic. But we'll call you when we need you. When my son was born in 05, I stopped playing. I had been playing since I was 14, so that was about 11 years that I had played. And just needed to get back into it, you know, once I had my, set my daughter and I was always home. I don't go out, I don't party, I don't club, I don't do any of these things, so it is a release. It's, this is my own, the only time I go out, so, you know, it's, it's helpful. I had a friend who was like, yo, you know, let's start this, this thing, and you know, and, and I called my buddy Will, and, and he was like, yeah, I'll have some guys, and Carlos, who had helped us start, had some guys, and just brought some guys from high school, and it just kept developing. Yes. Time to get loose. You want to play with that? They said that's the one that was slipping out of everybody. It hand. relaxes me from regular day life, my nine to five. It's freedom to me. Like, I don't got to think about tomorrow. I don't got to think about the fast life of New York City. It just, it's kind of, hey, I don't, I don't worry about nothing. Right there in that time, I'm, I'm thinking about how can I help my team win? And that's peace for me. Ah, oh, no, nah, we ain't gonna do that. We got the matchups we want. We have good chemistry in here. We come here, we all competitive, and, and we, we bring the best out of each other. Yo, we got the ball, right? Stop talking to him. He ain't your friend no more. We in between the lines, it's over. To the hand, Eddie. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you. Here you go. We here with you. We here with you. We here with you. Oh my God! Get him a Metro Cup. Good move, Dad. Stop reaching. Pick up games. Talk start to finish. It doesn't matter where I'm at. I'm, I'm gonna talk. They tired already. I hear him breathing. Let's go. The players that come here, we just try to give it our all. It's real competitive. We try to bring that out of each other every week we come here. Oh, let's go. Check up, he can't touch that again. He picked up the ball to pass it. Yeah, he picked up the ball. He can't touch it again. He picked up the ball. Yes, he did. No, 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 no. It's nothing easy in here. He picked up the ball to pass it. You know, we may argue a little bit, but that brings the best out of all of us. Oh, yeah. Oh, good thing, Rich. Get out. Get out of there. Ah. Yo, TC, you playing with him, bro? Nah, nah. I don't like arguing because it stops the flow of the game. I mean, I don't, I, I don't tell them to shut up or anything. I, I try not to, but we try to clock to say, oh, you know, guys, we're arguing too much. 
Let's start a clock for 20 minutes. Every game is 20 minutes. We'll put a three minute grace period just for arguing injuries, whatever. That worked for a while and the guys liked it, but I went, I, heard, I had elbow surgery. When I was gone, they stopped playing with the clock. Me and y'all ready to each other. We didn't touch him. Nobody touch you, we ready to each other. If somebody's not yelling or screaming, it's not New York basketball. Like when you come to New York, yes, you see people talking shit. You see people yelling and screaming because nobody wants to lose. That was right there. What you talking about? How you ain't see it? That was right there. I did. That went off. You hit so that house. Arguing, it fuels you. Like, somebody makes a bad call and I'm pissed. Next play, I'm coming 10 times harder. Turnover. Make the layup. Finish him, Daddy. Finish him. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. It brings different competition out of people. Like, we're sitting, when you're sitting here yelling at somebody, nobody wants to get yelled at. So either you're gonna play or you're gonna go to the side. You're gonna lose. You see that Jimmy? You see that Jimmy? Honey, they see you. They see you. Next basket. Next basket. Hey, we need to stop. Who man? When that game is tied up and it's point game, anybody is liable to call anything. You just can't touch nobody. Let's go. He don't want it. Good game. Let him call. He called it? No, he ain't called nothing. I ball. We go up and down, then it's a stop. We argue. Then you go up and down, we argue. Come on, y'all, let's go. We don't want to kill the flow of the game, so it's just all right. Get out. You got that one, we got the next one. Try yourself. Game time. Game. Hey. Game. Let me get one, y'all. Let me get one. Let's go, game. baby. Let's go. Game time, fellas. Way to come back, fellas. Way to come back. This is why I come to release. I might have been having a bad week. Come here Sunday, I forget about everything. Everything doesn't matter, everything stops. Enjoy basketball. To me, basketball, it's freedom, you know? Mental freedom from everyday life. I'm not judged, I, I could be whatever I want. I, I could just come out and do my thing with, with my friends. What you got? Plain? Pizza? Yeah, kind of the same. Stay, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm always taking care of my kids. So, you know what I mean? I get up early in the morning, I drop everybody off in school, I go to work, I get off of work, I go pick everybody up, get home, we do dinner, we do homework, we put them in the shower, put them in bed. What's left? You know? You just come here, have a good time, and that's it. And then we go home and wait for the next week.